Hi everyone, welcome to Every Day, your daily stop for virtual reality content. My name is Dee and I am in Neos the Universe. Just kidding, I'm not actually in Neos the Universe. Where I actually am is in, uh, I'm inside a 360 degree panorama that was captured inside of Neos the Universe using uh, my 360 degree capture script for Unity. Um, this is just a monos monoscopic capture, so it's the same in both eyes. And um, if I, if I bring up my uh, performance menu with the space bar here, I can see I have a solid 75 frames a second. That's the maximum of DK2. And um, my render target resolution at the bottom, you will notice, is unusual. Um, it is currently 15,000 by 9,147. So the default render target size is much, much, much smaller than that. Um, it's, it's around about like 2,300 pixels wide uh, or 2,400. And um, the reason that I have my render target at such an enormous size is so that I could capture and upload this video in 4K resolution at 60 frames a second. So the way it works using the latest uh, Unity VR tools um, with, with the native VR support in Unity 5.1 is if you simply increase your render scale, uh, it will simultaneously uh, increase the, the size of your render target which basically results in um, superscaled anti-aliasing um, when in, inside the Oculus Rift. And at the same time, it will also increase the, um, the resolution of the mirror window. So when you start the Unity application, you set the, the, the resolution of the mirror window, like the actual amount of screen space that it takes up. Um, but the, um, but the, render, the, the mirror window, it's just copying the render target to the mirror window and it scales it up or scales it down. Uh, so, so I'm rendering a total of 15,000 by 9,000. That means each eye is about 7,500 pixels wide, which is some kind of dramatic overkill. So that's being downscaled to the mirror window, which is about uh, 3,840 pixels wide because I'm running it full screen on my 4K monitor. So that means that you guys are seeing uh, this video not only recorded at full, K, full 4K resolution, but also with a little bit of uh, super scale anti-aliasing. And I can do this because this scene has uh, this scene has zero polygons in it. This is just a skybox. Um, but it, it helps to give you some idea of what it'll look like in the future when VR headsets have much higher resolution. So. Um, a lot of you guys out there in the audience do not have 4K screens to be watching this video on, which is fine. I'm actually going to um, I'm going to magnify some of these objects here so you can get a good idea of uh, what they look like and how they compare to what I'm seeing inside the Oculus Rift. So, um, so uh, what I'm representing here is a hypothetical future uh, VR headset that would have um, about 4K pixels wide per eye. Uh, so because the screens in a headset are usually square to emulate the circular aspect ratio of the of the human eye um, or the circular field of view of the human eye. So that means that in this hypothetical future HMD, um, each eye has a screen that is 4K by 4K pixels for a total of 32 megapixels. All right, so I'm looking around. I see this mouse here. So I can read that it says mouse 15 centimeters, just fine. Um, the text has some colorful dots around it that result from the pentile uh, display, but otherwise that is quite legible. And um, if I turn a little bit farther, I will see, sorry, getting wrapped up in my wires. All right, if I turn a little bit farther here, I will see matchstick. Uh, and the matchstick is, I can read that it says matchstick. I cannot read its size below that. Um, the words matchstick, like I might not even be able to read that if I didn't already know what it said. It's basically, it's it's basically there. I see a bunch of red dots above it, a bunch of blue dots below it, um, and it's it's very difficult to read. Um, but if if you're looking now at the magnified window view that I'm showing, you can see that at the uh, 4K resolution, it's very very clear. Uh, this coffee bean here, I can see there is a coffee bean. I can see like one pixel of text above it. That's all I can see. I cannot read its name. I, I can't do anything with that. Um, I, I'm not sure how much you can see on the screen. Let me take a look at my... I can't take a look at my screen because that moves the view. But you guys can take a look and see kind of how much detail you can make out on this coffee bean on our hypothetical future headset. Now here's one that I know. So you see that blue that blue object there? That is a hailstone. 
um, and the hailstone is very small, um, and I cannot read its name at all. Uh, its name from here just looks like it's like one line. It's one pixel high, and I can't read what it says. On your four K on your on my four K monitor when I looked at this earlier, I could absolutely lean in and read the name of this object. So that's one case where there's a very clear distinguishing between the very low resolution of the DK two, which is um more like 2K per eye versus the 4K per eye that I'm putting. Um, or actually, I think it's a bit more than 4K per eye that I'm putting up on the screen here because I believe the the uh, window view is actually cropped a little bit horizontally. Um, so it's not showing the full uh, field of view. So I think this is a little bit more than 4K per eye, but it's about 4K per eye. Anyway, um, Okay, so over there is CPU. I can tell that says CPU, just barely. I can't read what it says under it. Um, I can tell it says Intel. I can't really tell it says Ivy Bridge. If I didn't know that said Ivy Bridge, I wouldn't be able to read it. Um, and so, um, and over there is a penny. And the penny is one of the smallest objects. Um, I cannot tell it's a penny. I can't see the design on the face of the coin. Uh, all I can tell is it's some kind of brown disk. I can't read its name. Again, it's only one or two pixels high. And you can get a much clearer view of that in the 4K view. So, um, and and just, it's it's actually really cool, like, because when I normally view this app, even even inside DK2, when I normally view this app, um, it's it's it doesn't have anti-aliasing quality. That's this ridiculously nice. So I, I can see a lot of... I can actually see a lot more detail even inside the Rift than I normally could just because of the improved uh, quality of the anti-aliasing. And that's not just the quality of like the labels and stuff, but also the quality of like the skin on the dinosaur and that texture. Um, the texture on the ostrich egg. I believe the basketball also has a very subtle texture. I actually cannot see the texture on the basketball inside the Rift. I think you guys will be able to see that um, in 4K. So... Um, this gives you just a brief impression of what it's uh, what it might look like someday uh, to be able to have 4K per eye in 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 some Rift future consumer version potentially like the consumer version two and the the kind of level of detail that you can make out with that and how much better it is than what we have today. Keep in mind the Rift consumer version one has um, 2160 pixels wide. Uh, DK2 is 1920 pixels wide. It's like 10% higher. It's basically the same. Um, and it, it has a better quality screen uh, in a lot of ways. It has better fill rate for the pixels, things like that. But the resolution is really not going to improve. And when you put it on, when you test it like this, by trying to like read little labels, by trying to make out uh, subtle textures on objects, um, seeing things in the distance, um, it's it's just not going to do any, it's not going to do much better on that than uh, DK2 already does, especially since they are uh, believed to both be pentile displays. Uh, anyway, this is all for a day. This is just a, uh, a little demo. Um, and I can I can throw up any skybox in here that I want. So I captured the skybox, I forgot to say. This is a cube map. Uh, so it's made of, uh, it's made of six images. Um, one, one in front of me, one behind me, one to my left, one to my right, one above, one below, and I can actually make up made out make out quite a lot of detail on the grid below me. I can see all of the fine grid lines, although they they are a bit shimmery. Uh, purple does not come through very well uh, since it doesn't contain green, and green is the uh, the color that the pentile display has the most of. Anyway, um, so each of these six images is about seventy five hundred by seventy five hundred pixels. Uh, the current current Unity limit is uh, eight one nine two by eight one nine two. Um, so that's how high I could get before I would have to start using like special tricks. Um, and so, uh, so you can actually get a very, very detailed skybox that goes all around you and can have any, any environment that you like, any real world or captured environment. And as you can see, you can render it at pretty good frame rates. I'm getting solid 75 frames a second, except when I look straight up for some reason, then it drops to like 40. I don't know. And, um... And I'm getting that at 15,000 by 9,000. So anyone who thinks that we will not be able to drive a, uh, a, a, a future headset that has 4K by 4K pixels per eye, um, this, is, this is proof that you can do it. Um, you can do it on a scene with a skybox and zero polygons, but that's still useful. This is a scene that a person might want to look at. Uh, and there's lots of other 360 photos that a person might want to look at. And stereoscopic isn't isn't even going to be very much more expensive. It's it's basically the same. So 
uh, it's just showing different different views of the skybox THI. So um, so I definitely, and this is with a current GPU, my my 980, which is not even like like Nvidia has labeled the 980 now. Uh, they they have 970 is acceptable, 980 is better, and 980 Ti or Titan uh, Titan X is best. Um, and so this is not even like top of the line currently. Um, in the future, when, by the time displays like this exist, um, HMDs like this exist, I don't think we're going to have any problem getting basic experiences like this to run on them. So that's all for today. Uh, let me know your thoughts about this little experience. Um, and um, everybody have a great every day.